what is the relationship between a parent and a child now if you're a mother or a father and you have experienced a normal birth and you have this beautiful being that comes into life one thing you'll notice it's a love like no other when they cry you want to cry but you want to be able to contain their feelings so that they feel safe enough to express themselves to you now what happens what exactly is the chemistry behind this and similarly to when we are so loved up and we fall in love with somebody and there is something called oxytocin that is produced in our body and it makes us feel really good and that is what binds us together and that is what keeps us together now that is you can say the closest experience that we have to that unconditional love to a love that is always expanding to a love that will make you want to get rid of your limitations so that you don't pass them on to others to a love that will make you want to expand your vision that will make you want to raise your consciousness that will make you want to move mountains right and that will make you want to look within yourself into finding ways of how you can become more loving how you can love yourself how you can treat yourself with more compassion so that you inculcate such a high level of joy that you're able to spread this joy around yourselves now when we are able to experience that outside of these relationships outside of these settings that produce that chemical then we are engaging in very very high vibration now when we say high vibration not that there is anything high or low right but it is a expanded vibration that allows you to experience a life from a very expanded heart center our heart right sends these currents around it sends this beautiful charge around right it allows the atoms in the air to vibrate and they start moving and everything in our life becomes very exciting very loving and we want to help we want to be kind we want to feel that and it comes literally without even thinking about it when you have a baby you will wake up all all hours and yet that baby will be the your world right that very very feeling the oxytocin so what is produced inside of our bodies is exactly the same thing that is produced in us when we go through our spiritual awakening when we are awake when we are conscious when you're vibrating at a raised consciousness that no longer is worried about survival right all of the survival that's why we say low because when something is fear based or something is about how do i keep myself safe how do i keep my ego safe how do i keep my mind safe that is a low vibration without judgment again folks it's just a matter of us understanding what is high what is low but you know it's like a low tide and a high tide it is what it is right a high tide is when the water is coming in a low tide is when it's receding so similarly a low tide or a low vibration is one that is very survival based very instinctive whereas a high vibration is very intuitive a high vibration is one that is expansive and in that all the acts that you perform everything that you wish upon another is heart based is something that is pro life is something that is pro creative it is not something that is cutting life out it is something that wants to show you the vibrancy of life right so this is why when you go through an awakening you love colors you love life you you see the sky it's bluer than blue right but you see the joy even in clouds you can see that beautiful vibrance everywhere everything is exciting because everything is vibrating and you can feel it you can sense it so when we get more in touch 
with ourselves and we see that love around us, similar, like I said, to these big moments of loveness in our life that come, that kind of love in a spiritual awakening you experience without having it limited to a person, a people, a place, a situation, children, relationships. No, you just feel it completely across and that is love. That has the power to transform any trauma that you may have gone through. It has the power to heal you. It has the power to stop linear time. Experience this beautiful expansion of consciousness and see who you really, really are. And you'll come to realize that love makes us want to create. Love is what makes us want to fetch a manifest reality. Love is what ignites creative potential. So much love to you. Take care of yourself. See how far you've come. Lots of love and keep spreading the love and the joy that you already are.